and welcome back to the Citizen Channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And yeah, I thought I'd do a little thing. Obviously, we've had the sad news uh, recently that uh, issue one's behind me there on, on the wall of the of the, uh, Dave and Sue Wallace uh, bringing King of the Kipax to an end. We're actually, this is issue two, 299. Great little tribute to Franny Lee, of course, on this one. Um, sadly, uh, obviously, after a hell of a lot, what, 36 seasons, uh, Dave and Sue decided to take a step back and uh, bring in the, the thing to an end. I think it was a fairly uh, fast decision because there's not too much been about it. And uh, yeah, I think they didn't take it, they didn't take this decision lightly, of course. And uh, I did have a quick uh, chat to Dave and, well, uh, WhatsApp, messaged him anyway. And obviously, uh, everything's uh, sort of. Up, up in the air at the moment he's having having decided to do it of course uh, he's got a lot of things to get through etc so uh, but it's such a shame it's such a shame but what what a what a fantastic job Dave and Sue and all the team of course all the contributors have done at King of the Kipak so I'm sure as I will keep referencing them in match reports and class of class ofs when I do specials on players stuff like that so I'll always keep the memory out there of uh, King of the Kipak uh, they're fantastic because I, I love hard copy I always wanted to do one myself I always wanted to do a, a magazine you, you may have known of my uh, attempts in the 80s similar times when King of the Kipak came out to put together a uh, a proper magazine for City rather than a fanzine at the time because I'd done fanzines myself for years on computers and computer games and stuff like that so I wanted to progress it a little bit but uh, it just wasn't to be unfortunately at the time but that's another story it's been in it's been in Dave and Sue's wonderful uh, uh, fanzine about what I did and when and, and wherefore etc so a great shame a great shame but what I thought I'd do is just a little way of tribute just over the next uh, obviously over the next couple of issues I'm just going to read out the preview that, that's in. I hope, I'm sure it's all right with Dave. I'm sure it's all right with Dave. Just a preview of the uh, what they do. Obviously, in, it's called it's a fix. If you get the King of the Kipax, you probably know it's been there since the very start, since since issue one, and it just looks at the the game coming up. So I thought I thought while I've got it, obviously I've got um, I missed out on the young boys one. I've, I've, I didn't decide to do this. I was just thinking about it. So I'll do do the United review today. I'll just have a read of the United review. Uh, preview in, in the King of the Kid Packs, and then obviously he's got we've got one for Bournemouth and Chelsea away, so I'll read them out as well. And obviously there might be a couple missing before issue three hundred comes out. I'm sure Dave might take a little bit longer to get this three hundred out, but uh, uh, I just thought I'd read an excerpt just as a way of tribute and just my little thank you to Dave and Sue and everybody at King of the Kid Packs for for many of 30 odd years of 30 odd seasons of, of wonderful stuff and a, much appreciated and it will be sadly missed so i just thought i'd read out a little bit of the sunday october the 29th you know i've done my own preview of course but this is just a little bit a little bit of a special one king of the kipax preview as per uh, dave and uh, sue wallace and United, yes, owners, yes, there's a badge of United which is printed upside down. <laughs> nice touch. Hey, it's hey, so what? It's, it's banter. It's banter, isn't it? Owners, you should see my thumb. My thumbnail I thought was quite good with the Tanag with his red nose on them, but uh, there you go. Owners, the fabulous Glazer family, owners of Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They are the hateful eight, nine members. Last pot nearly the FA Cup last season, but actually the Carabao Cup. Biggest connection, welcome to Manchester King Carlos. Tevez, 159th league meeting this one is. Some celebrity fans, sound ones, is there any sound ones? I don't know, they're all basically all United fans are rubbish. Sound ones, Sean Ryder, Bez, Justin Morehouse, disappointing ones, Stephen Bartlett, Brian Cox, Richard Wilson, um, Twats, yes, Twats, uh, George Galloway, Ollie Mures, Pundits, Rio Ferdinand said nice things about us last season, liking the players and having a decent squad. Gary Neville is always astute in his assessments of us. Predicted we'd win the title throughout last season, but didn't think we'll win it this time out. Pat Patrice Evra seems to have disappeared, thankfully. Eric Cantona I find quite endearing since he quit the game. Yeah, yeah, give a... He, I've watched a couple of films with him and he's all right. He's, he's okay. Uh, this season... 
Yeah, this this is a little bit out of date now. So far in 10th, they're actually in 8th now with 12 points. Of course, this is the thing with hard copy. Uh, it moves on, doesn't it? It's not like we can do a vlog and it, it's up to date. Well, as far as uh, for two or three days anyway. So uh, this season, yeah, I, I won't go. I'll glaze over that one because it's slightly out of date. Check my check my preview, guys. Last season at the Etihad in October, it was 6-3 City win. The goals reigned in from Haaland, 34-37 and 64th minute. And Folden, 8th. 43rd and 73rd. The crowd was 53,171 at the Swamp in January. It was a 2-1 loss. Jack 60 opened the scoring, but Fernandez on 78 equalised with an offside goal, it was, which should have been disallowed before. Rashford on 82 scored the winner. Crowd was 75,187. Their referee, their referee <laughs> was Stuart Atwell at Wembley in the FA Cup final. It was a 2-1 City win with goals from Gundo, 12 seconds and 51 minutes. United replying through Fernandez on 31 minutes of penalty with an outrageous penalty given for an accidental handball by Jack. OK, yeah. Rules of the how it is. I'm not going to get too worried about that. The crowd was eighty three thousand one hundred seventy nine with with twats in the hats paid for by the Glazers. Yeah, and they, they loved them hats, didn't they as well? Uh, their referee that date was Paul Turney. I think Paul Turney's a referee this day as well. Uh, our form at the Swamp last season's loss made it City um, lost one, drawn lost one, one, one. So there you go. So that's, that's uh, so obviously we lost the last one. So we need to three. Four, four out of seven wins. I think we should improve on that. We should be better than that, I think. Comment. Uh, it's those happy-go-lucky Yankee Doodle Dandy Glazer boys still being protested against despite employing every employing manager after manager, signing player after player and pumping the money in by the billion. Ethel C Eth e -T -H -L. Ethel seemed to have a bit more of an idea than the previous managers, though the season started badly with two defeats, which usually these days means the title's gone. However, the win against Brentford, 93rd and 98th minute, was a turning point and their season starts here. Harry, Harry Maguire reckons. Well, he did, he did score against Copenhagen as well, didn't he? Uh, Ground-wise, the Swamp capacity 73,408 with around 3,000 for City fans. Plans are currently in place to increase a capacity to 88,000 with the addition of two quadrants being added to the Sir Bobby Charlton stand plus an extra 7,500 seats in a revamped main stand however they can't even fix the roof they certainly can't so the latter seems like a pipe dream the sat nav, if you want the sat nav, it's M16 ORA or get the tram, you'll be all right. Uh, parking, plenty of local car parks. The summer signings, Inns, Mount, 60 million. Chelsea, Amarabat, Lone, Fiorentina, Anana, 47 minutes from Inter. Evans, a three from Leicester. Hod Hodgeland, 72 minutes, Atlanta. Bazindir, 4 million, Fenerbahce. Regilon, Lone from Spurs. Out, Salanga. Who knows how much to Forest? Hent probably paid them. Henderson, £20 million. Pound. Palace, Savage, seven, uh, again, unknown, unknown amount to Reading. Tellez, unknown amount. Al Nazir, De Gea released. Jones released. Fred, £13 million to Fenerbahce. A Greenwood loan to Getafe. And their away day zines, yes, they still have We Swap with United We Stand. United We Stand is their zine, so we won't be swapping with that much more, will you, uh, Dave, unfortunately? Where where were they when they were shite? Well, the crowds were down to 11,685 in 1930-31. And last season, the average was 73,661. First in the Premier League, quantity, not quality. Well, there you go. My little tribute, a little preview of the United game as per the wonderful. And it will always be wonderful, even when it's no longer with us. It's such a shame that it's no longer with us. Um... King of the Kippats, what can I say? Absolutely superb. I still have, obviously, uh, down the line, I, I'm a working man at the moment, down the line. I still I still have ambitions, perhaps, to do a little hard copy magazine, not to the extent of this this thing, of course, but uh, I still have more time and a bit more cash. I could probably, hopefully, do something as well, But because uh, I always think there's a room for hard copy, um, even though it's, there's no, not a lot of money to be made in it. I don't even think City make a lot of money out of the programmes and stuff like that. But they probably could make a few more quid if they made a bit more of an effort. To, uh, but there you go. Anyway, that's that's another story. I'd, yeah, I'd like to do some at some stage. But uh, um, obviously, such such a great shame. And hope this little tribute uh, keeps helps keep the memory alive. Because I will do that over my vlogs over the coming months and years. As long as I'm here anyway, I'll, I'll always 
get back to King of the Kid Packs for something or other. So uh, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, hope you like me. Uh, sad, sadly disappointed with the demise of it, but uh, great work, fantastic work, as I said from Dave and Sue. My love to them and all, all the KOTK. K.O.T. Key, K.O. King of the Kid Packs contributors that, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot on are on Twitter and we obviously keep, you keep in touch with them on there, don't you? And you sort of follow and they follow you and it's, it's great. It's, it's just like a, such a shame. A lot of con good contributors as well. Um, it would be nice to find somewhere for them to, uh, to do something. Perhaps they do, they do some vlogs. They can send them to me. We'll stick them out on the Citizen channel. Eh? What do you, what do you think? Let me know, guys. Anyway, um, I don't know. It's a bit early days, but uh, let, let's let's uh, uh, leave King of the Kipaks with with the respect it deserves. And uh, I'll I'll say I'll quote for the next month or two while we we'll wait for issue three hundred um, until the very. I'll be there till the very end, and I'll stick out other things as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Whatever you do with the rest of the day, have a great one. Uh, look after yourselves. Uh, and stay safe. Stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Thank you, Dave and Sue. Bye for now.